Pennsylvania Free Thought Society, the Penn State Atheist Agnostic Association, the Pittsburgh Coalition of Reason, the Secular Coalition for America, the Skeptical Inquirer, and the Steel City Skeptics. If you want any more information about these groups that helped, uh, please uh, uh, check out, they're, they're on our website, we have a co-sponsor list. If you go through the list there, you can, you can check out their organizations. And uh, we really want to thank them for their support. Uh, just, I, I just have a little more housekeeping. Uh, should you have any questions or need any assistance, you will recognize conference volunteers and troubleshooters by the sash they are wearing. They are your point people for any help you might need whatsoever. Uh, and for, for those volunteers that are here in the hall with us, uh, I want to really thank you for volunteering your time this weekend. Some of them are listed in their programs. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time uh, to get everybody's name in before print, so, but uh, we, we couldn't have done this without them, and we want to recognize that here. The secular community can count on one hand public officials who have an appreciation of the separation of religion and government. We rely on our elected officials to uphold the Constitution, but in 2012, a questionable resolution caused the secular community great concern. I am proud to say that uh, Representative Mark Cohen stepped forward to raise awareness of the inappropriateness of the Year of the Bible resolution, and he gets it. He's here this morning to open our conference and give us hope that he, as a Pennsylvania State Legislator, listens and is aware of our concerns and will, of course, uphold the state and federal constitution. It's my extreme pleasure to present Representative Mark Cohen. I'd like to thank Ryan uh, 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 and anyone else who's involved in, uh, in getting me uh, to this conference. I guess I want to thank Rick Saccone, the <laughs> legislator from Western Pennsylvania, for getting me involved in the issues uh, of separation of church and state. For uh, uh, The legislature and is, is government in general is good at kind of uh, anesthetizing uh, issues. Uh, we, we, we come up with uh, 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 generally accepted ways of doing things, and then they get accepted uh, year after year, generation after generation. And uh, Representative Saccone has helped wake us all up, because he, uh, he is not uh, uh, going along with the status quo of bland, of bland uh, as a, a support for organized religion. He's insisted that we, uh, that we be explicit. Uh, in addition to the year of the Bible, uh, he, 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 he's most, he most recently came up with a resolution calling for a national day of repentance. Uh, he visions himself as the leader of a vast religious movement, and, and he got the legislature with 35 dissenting votes uh, uh, to... Uh, 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 to oppose his attempt to set a new religious holiday. I, I, I serve on the state government committee, which is a whole, whole bunch of miscellaneous ju uh, jurisdictions. And, uh, uh, and, and recently we had a hearing on, uh, on the Pennsylvania ethics laws and various uh, 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 changes uh, 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 to it that people think would be in the interest of good government. And uh, Rick Saccone had a, had a contribution to it which was totally unobjectionable. But, uh, uh, but somebody else came before the uh, committee and uh, gave an also unobjectionable sp speech in terms of public policy, but the whole speech was paragraph after paragraph of biblical references. There was nothing in it except the religious sermon, basically. And the, and, and, and the religious sermon had the very unobjectionable conclusion that you really ought to look at the fundamental problem and, and, and not get uh, uh, bogged down into 
into uh, external stuff that's irrelevant, which is a, a fine conclusion to, to reach. But the whole thing was, was couched in the form of a religious sermon. Uh, and and uh, somebody else uh, came in and had a few paragraphs in the speech, which, uh, which were just about you know, uh, God and religion, and, 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 then, and then concluded to give, but then they went on to give in great detail uh, a, a, a relevant testimony to the issue the committee was considering. So yeah, I, I, I was impressed when I, when I came here about all the different categories uh, uh, there are of atheists, agnostics, and other people who are in, in, in various degrees sympathetic with, with the goals of, uh, of, of those organizations and the goals of separation of church and state. And in the, in the legislature, we've even more differences of opinion uh, 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 than exist here. We not only probably have all the different categories uh, of your membership, but we, uh, but we also have uh, all, all the different categories, m many of the different categories of religious belief. To, to get the legislature to un understand your issues is a challenge. And I, 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 it's a challenge even getting people together to, uh, to, uh, to do that. The best way to deal w with this challenge is to try to figure out who you know who's in the legislature and, 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 and go talk to them on, a, on, a, on an individual basis. Uh, the legislature is too big to, uh, to, for you to talk to everybody. And, uh, but you talk, if you talk, the more people you talk to, the better it is. There, there are endless ideas out there. There are endless facts in the universe. Legislators, like other decision-making bodies, are overwhelmed with all the ideas and all the facts. What distinguishes some facts and some ideas from others is that there are real live constituents who believe in those ideas. Because you can go, you, you, you know, you can read like, the front page of the New York Times and they'll have, you know, you know, 10, 15 important news stories, and the odds are legislators, or the average citizen for that matter, will spend the rest of his life and will never find anybody who's interested in any of the 10 or 15 most important news stories in the New York Times. But when, someone's, when something is important to at least one person, that really distinguishes that particular frame, that particular issue from all, all the other theoretical issues that are out there. Uh, uh, so, I, so I would urge individual or group contact with, uh, 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 with legislators. Uh, and, and then you have a distinction uh, of, uh, of, of, how, of how do you proceed with the legislature. The, the, there, it, you know, Dave Silverman later on today will be talking about firebrand atheism, and uh, you know, I, and, and, and there's a strong case for firebrand anything, because you, because uh, 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 if you speak softly and and uh, moderately and boringly, <laughs> as I often do, uh, you know, people don't really listen. And if you, if you have a message, you know, it helps to speak in, in, in a manner that people will pay attention. On, on the other hand, in, in dealing with the legislature and, and, and other bodies in a, in a cooperative manner, you, you want to find ways to establish common ground. We, and it, it takes some diplomatic skills. And at and some level, there's a conflict between the firebrand and the, and, and the needed diplomacy. And I think if, if atheism is, is going to be fully recognized as a major body of opinion in America, and Paul's been indicated that there are more atheists and Jews, Episcopalians, Unitarians, and probably some other groups combined, I, and, 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 and it certainly looks like atheism is growing, because the atheists are disproportionately concentrated among younger people. Uh, if, you, if, if you want broad societal support, there's got uh, to be diplomacy. So 
So the challenge for, uh, for, uh, for anybody who's concerned about this is, is how do you mix being militant enough, invisible enough to build up support with, uh, uh, with being diplomatic enough to uh, not, to the, not have the rest of the world turn against you. But, uh, what you want is, a, is the same respect that, uh, uh, that each individual religious group uh, uh, generally has in, in America. And I, I don't have any solution uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, that's for you all to figure out over time as, uh, as people and, 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 and circumstances change. I, w I would think that, uh, uh, that your challenge is to uh, come up with positive things and uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, show, to, uh, to show the goodness in your hearts. I think it's great to uh, uh, engage in those kind of projects, which we just saw. Uh, uh, church groups do it. I heard an inadvertent slur somebody said, uh, for, uh, in the last few weeks about atheism, there are a whole bunch of religious people at a project. As I said, where are the atheists? Ah, they're not here. So it's, it, it's good to see this, and, it, and it's good to see all, all, all other manifestations of responsibility. I, I, I would uh, I look forward to uh, continuing to work with you. I, I, I'm interested in facing the challenge of uh, having the legislature recognize that separation of church and state is, is, is a real principle affecting real lives. And it, it, it's not just an empty catchphrase, uh, but it has real effects. I discovered recently that Ellery uh, Shem grew up in my legislative district until he was eight years old. And, and then he famously moved to Abington. Had he not moved to Abington, the suit would be, uh, would, uh, probably would have been Shem versus Philadelphia instead of Shem versus Abington, because Philadelphia had very similar religious practices in, 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 in the schools as Abington Township did. Uh, uh, so is, is Eller, I was, I, uh, he, he's Ellery older than I am. So I, I was certainly not in the legislature when Emory was eight years old and, and, and moved to Abington, but I'm proud to uh, 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 represent Ellery's old district. And, 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 and I'm proud that other people who, who have lived in my district at various times, such as Noam Chomsky, uh, 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 I.F. Stone, and, and others have been uh, 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 have bucked the status quo and shown the power of independent thought. The kind of courage they have shown is, is the kind of courage I know many of you have shown in, express, in expressing your beliefs. It's not easy to say you're an atheist or agnostic, and, and, and it takes a special kind of person to be willing to show that he or she has the courage to, uh, to think for herself. I look forward to working with you in the future. I am honored by be, be being given one of the shortest time slots here. <laughs> so, uh, 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 you, uh, you have shown you, you, you trust politicians to, uh, to be able to talk briefly. I've also learned that sometimes the briefer you talk, the more people actually remember what you said. Thank you very much.